Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the second masterclass of the 17th Gibraltar International Chess Festival. And here with me tonight to give the class is Sara, Sara Sarad Kadamel Sharie from Iran, who's having a fantastic event. So tell us about your tournament here so far. Well, first of all, I'm very happy to be back again. I remember two years ago, we also had a master class with my friend Otusa. That's right, yeah. And I'm very happy to be back here. But um, yeah, so far my tournament has been go going on very well. And um, I think I did more than I expected. So mm. I'm quite happy with my results. So but in general, your form has been fantastic in recent months. Yeah, I can say last year I didn't have a good year. I lost probably uh, around like 50 rating mm, points. But right. um, in my previous tournaments, I got it back somehow. So now right. I'm having my best uh, rating. You're up to something like 24.98, is that right? Uh, 94, I think. My live rating sorry, is 94. <laughs> World number 12, something like this. Yeah. Yeah, unbelievable. Well, not unbelievable. I mean, fantastic. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. You also did really well. We can talk about this later, maybe, but you did sure. fantastically well in St. Petersburg. Sada won two silver medals and a gold medal. Yeah. Yeah, in the women's blitz, the women's rapid. These are the world championships. And the combined, you got the gold well, medal. Well, actually, that tournament is one of my favorites because I really like the rapid chess. I mean, it's more fun, I think, compared to the <laughs> standard tournaments. But right. Uh, we missed the previous one because it was in Saudi Arabia, so we yes. couldn't play because of the visa. But this mm -hmm. year I tried my best to play there and actually it went out very well. Absolutely yeah. brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you're in great form. Um, we don't know yet who you're playing tomorrow because I think there's still some games still playing. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah. um, so it's a bit early for the pairings. But anyway, um, three and a half out of four. <laughs> now you've chosen a game from this tournament to show us. Yeah, first I, I wanted to show a game from the Bundesliga that I recently played. Uh, I played with Kostinuk. She was actually one of my uh, idols when I started playing chess. Right. So it was uh, very interesting for me that I could beat her. So first mm. I wanted to show that game, but I think the games from this tournament are more fresh and I like them more. Okay. <laughs> so I decided right. to show one of the games. Yeah. Is that the first time you've beaten Alexandra uh, in a classical um, game? This yeah. Bundesliga game? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Another great result. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. So here we are. So tell us about... Um, you were playing Alexander Donchenko? <coughs> well, yeah, here it was round three, so I was on two out of two. Uh, but this is yesterday's game? Yeah, I got double white, lucky. Mm. <laughs> so here I played with him. He's, I can say, a very strong player from Germany. He's very young, so... Yes. He's been here many times, Alexander, yeah. in, in this, this tournament. Mm -hmm. So I always start with d4. <coughs> And before the game, I saw he played some Benoni, so I was kind of prepared for that, but uh, it actually got into C4. Which is in fact, A6, you, had, you had a Benoni, yeah. right? You yeah. You, yeah. Yeah, it happened in the game, so C5 here, and it goes to Benoni. Here How much of the opening was preparation? How much, well, you can tell us as, as you go ahead in the game. Yeah, sure. Yeah. No, I didn't really uh, prepare a lot. I just wanted to get some game, so uh, I'm a bit lazy to work on theory, so I just decided to play knight d2. I think it's more uh, like a position that I can play on board, so I decided to go for that. Right. So the idea is simple to play e4 like we usually do in Benoni. So I think till here is uh, the main position of the opening. Mm -hmm. And a4 is one of the moves, moves uh, that is played. It's actually a useful move to prevent a6, b5. It doesn't matter if black plays a6 or not. So. And also the right rooks sometimes come to a3. Yeah, yeah right. It happened it happen later in the game. In the game yeah. Yeah. Mm. So here, it, uh, in this moment, mm. I saw some games of, I think it was Driev's game, that he played knight d uh, B1. Wow, which what a strange looking move. Yeah, it's very strange, but mm. it's quite interesting because the knight goes to A3 later. And uh, also it has some plans to play with F4. And then when knight comes to G4, uh, E3 squares. It's right. Yeah, so you can play H3 later. Mm. So it's interesting move. But I didn't remember exactly because I had to prepare for other lines. Right. So I just... Uh, decided not to go for this one because I'm not it's surprised. It looks like a yeah. computer move as yeah, well. Sure. Yeah, I think computer is quite happy here with white's position, mm -hmm. but I was not really sure what was going on, so I just decided to play with the more natural move, queen c2. Queen c2, right. So here, six, yeah, yeah, I went with 
this idea, which was, I don't know, maybe not the best year. Maybe rookie one was a better move. Because uh, I think after bishop g4, black is getting what he wants from Benoni. I don't know. I don't see any right. advantage for myself here. Tell us why bishop g4 is so good. I mean, if you play f3. f3, then uh, bishop goes to d7. So uh, then black has some ideas to play knight h5. Mm -hmm. uh, so I don't really, s I mean, it's a bit weakening. So yes, all right, I can see. Yeah. I was not really happy with this, so mm -hmm. I just decided to take on g4. And here I think black is doing fine. Yeah. Looks like an equal position. I mean, I'm not worse, but mm -hmm. I'm not getting something with white. So. I wonder if something strange like knight h6 was possible with f5, last move. A bit too strange, maybe. Mm -hmm. yeah. But maybe now I can go with f4 and knight c4 later on. Yes, that looks strong. So maybe black is not in time for doing this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So here he went knight f6. And here we You played a5, yeah? Yeah, I played a5. Um, because here I could not see any ideas. I thought I can just play a5. And if the queen moves, I can play knight a4 as I played in the game. and. A5 is, I mean, one of the moves that is always played in Benoni, I mean, most of the times to stop the B5 idea. So mm -hmm. I thought it's quite useful. Right. So he played queen e7. You didn't mind b5, yeah. no? If he played b5 last move, you have the better spawn structure. Yeah, I think so, because uh, after b5, I can take. If the queen takes, for example, still here, maybe I can go f4. If check, I can just mm. move the king, so I don't know. And if knight d3, you don't Knight d3, yeah. I... But I mean, yeah. last, I, mean, I mean last move, I mean last move, before c4 check. Before c4 check. It's probably just a blunder. Knight yeah, knight, knight d3, knight I will play knight c4. Yeah. Knight b4. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. I can take maybe yeah, I can and take, then and I can take, take, take. You can take. <laughs> <laughs> and then knight c7. Uh, something <laughs> yeah. No, but I might get myself stuck here. <laughs> mm. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. No idea, yeah. <laughs> but the Benoni is that kind of opening. The yeah, Benoni sure. is some ridiculous variations really? often. Yeah. So Who here knows? I played knight a4 with the idea to play knight b6, and he played knight ed7, and here I didn't find anything better than just repeating the moves. Okay, so what would you have repeated if he had come back with knight c5? What uh, do you think? Yeah, I think here it's just completely equal. I don't mm -hmm. have anything to try for, so I was okay with the draw here. Because uh, this pawn is hanging, so if I go, for example, I don't have rook e1 because knight he can d5. take on d5. Of course, yeah. And F3 if you don't like? That's no, horrible F3 now. Like yeah. H5 and things, yeah. F3 is not a good move. And if, mm. for example, rook E3 to defend, then maybe just bishop A6. I don't know. Mm. Then if F4, knight D5 again. Mm -hmm. So yeah. here I thought I have to just. And if you don't play knight A4, when he's. Here? If, is there anything else you could do for white instead of knight A4? Um, yeah, it's this position. So. Rook e1 or something, I don't know. Yeah, but he always mm. can play this idea C4, with yeah. c4 mm -hmm. and knight d3, so yep, yep. I think black is doing fine here, so I was happy with, right. uh, I mean, repetition. Sure. Yeah. But he wanted to play on because he was higher rated, so mm -hmm. <coughs> maybe he thought he had something, mm. so he, we repeated here, and he, here he played rook c8. Rook c8. <coughs> I played knight c4, which is, I think, normal. So here I improved my position a bit compared to the other yes. one. My knight is on b6, so I think now I'm doing a bit better, maybe. So here I played bishop g5 because... Actually, this morning, Sarah, sorry to interrupt. Yeah. Um, I was I, with Leoncio Garcia. You know, Leoncio, mm -hmm. we do a little thing in Spanish every morning. Yeah. We do like a 10 minutes, 15 minutes slot in Spanish. And he chose this game as one of his two really? games. Oh. From <laughs> I started to recognize it from this position. Mm -hmm. And according, I think he probably looked with the looked with the program or something, 
uh, with an engine, and he yeah. felt that rook c7 wasn't the right square for the rook. Yeah, sure. Is mm -hmm. that correct? Can yeah, you that's Can you tell true. us about that? Yeah, because after rook c7, um, this rook is just stuck here, so maybe rook d8 was a better move. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. I didn't think of this during the game, but yeah. I think it's right. So here I played bishop g5 with the idea that, okay, I want to have some uh, f4 ideas. Mm -hmm. So here he played h6, which is, I think, normal reaction to yep, bishop g5. But here I could take on f6. I, I missed that. And if queen takes, for example, I go f4, and then e5 is coming. It's just much better for white Well, here. let's have a look, all right. So keep but on. I didn't see it, mm -hmm. so I go e5 here, it takes. Oh, because of d6 at some point? Yeah, then uh, d6 is, I think here was it, it yeah. was f5, something like that. I mm. didn't check it with computer, actually, but it was showing plus two or something. Really? Yeah. Really big advantage? Yeah, but it didn't look to me like a big advantage, so I... Yeah, actually, after knight e4, queen f5 is not possible because of g4. Mm. Winning the queen? Yeah. So queen d8 is the only move. And then maybe d6, rook here, and then something like f5. f5 of yeah. Course, yeah. Yeah, so I didn't think of this at all. And if black took on f6 with this bishop, would it be the same instead of the queen? So here it's funny because after, uh, sorry, I will show that, but yeah. after e5 computer shows knight e5 as really? the best move. It's yeah. the best move. Yeah. Wow. So here. Um, I guess it's going to be very similar. Yeah, it should be. Sorry. Um, bishop takes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, probably, I don't know. Or maybe even knight e4 here, is that possible? Perhaps. Turning d6, yeah? Mm. That might, might be a strong move, knight e4, what does black play? Now we see why the rook would be better on d8 <laughs> yeah, than sure. c7. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, that's right. That's, that's probably the key move, knight e4. Yeah. Though, yeah. Very strong. So here I just mm, didn't think of bishop f6 because it's, well, I, I mean, if you don't see this idea, it's, then... It's an unnatural move, isn't it? Yeah, it's not a natural move. So I just played quickly bishop h4, but I was really surprised after the game to see this. When you checked it, yeah. yeah. So here he wanted some counterplay. Sometimes they lose this c pound to get some counterplay right. on c file, but I don't think it was a good decision Also, you could play g5, here. right? g5 and then knight h5 or something? No, but g5 uh, and knight h5, I thought I could go knight e2. Oh, and okay. f5 square yes. is weak, so I thought I was doing quite fine here. Well, okay, so I just go back there, sorry. Uh, knight here? g5, knight e2, yeah, what could, of course, black doesn't take on g3. Yeah, yeah. sure. <laughs> but knight g6, maybe, or I don't know. Is that possible, knight g6? Knight g6, maybe I can go... Knight c4 also. Can I no, take on e4? Or maybe I don't know no, if I can. No, I'm yeah. not sure if I can. Yeah, you can because mm. both knights are right, hanging. Right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but also g5 is typical Benoni move, isn't it? For yeah, black it to is, play. Yeah. I, I know we can say 5 uh, Yeah, but course, usually but anyway. they played when the bishop is there. So right, without having exchanged, yes. Yeah. But maybe rook e3. But still, yeah, black gets some play, maybe. Knight f4, for example, or yeah, bishop or d4 also. Bishop d4, bishop b5, I don't know, there's some, yeah. anyway, it looks... Yeah, it looks better than... Hmm. Yeah, maybe that's the... Mm -hmm. Or you could play bishop h2 after knight h5, and that could, you don't have to play knight e2, maybe. Yeah, sure. But he played so c4. Yeah, here he played c4. And... I want to play f4 and take the pawn, so okay, fast, right, yeah. I don't see any defense for that. Any defense? Do you, do you get nervous during games, by the way? This, like in the middle games, it's like... Not really. I mean, I, w 
I just try to enjoy the games here. Mm -hmm. So sometimes when I get better positions, I like today's game when I was playing with Aronia, and yeah. I got really nervous because I was having a good uh, position and somehow I just missed something. So I got nervous because mm. I thought I missed my chance. But later right. on, I managed to defend that. Right, but right. Have you ever worn one of these heart monitors, you know, that we're using here in some of the games? No, I didn't. I really wanted to try like it on. Yeah, sure. Okay, you heard that. Uh, <laughs> 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 Wear a heart. Yeah, maybe tomorrow. Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, great. Okay. Sorry, so where were we? So you played Rook A4. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so here he didn't, I don't know, I didn't see anything for him because I will take this sooner or later. Sooner or later, yeah. yeah. So he just decided to give it immediately, which was a bit strange to me. Mm -hmm. So I took it with the knight. And here a knight c5 is not possible because of e5. And again this d6 move. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This e5 idea was just so annoying the whole game. So, so here he played rook e c8. Okay. And here probably I should have gone queen e2 to defend my knight. And probably, I don't see any compensation for black, I don't know. Hmm. You have bishop g3 coming, don't you, as well? Yeah, d6 is a bit weak. I have always this e5 idea, and I have some squares here, so... It, didn't, it doesn't look to me like a compensation. Yeah. So here I played knight b6 move, which I don't think it's very accurate to play. Okay. Because I give black some play. So here I play f4 with the same idea to play e5. Mm -hmm. And here what he should have done is rook c4. Oh, I thought you were going to say rook b5 when you went to play on the rook. I was yeah, rook, rook b5. Is that possible? Uh, <laughs> rook b5, I, I thought back. of that, but I thought of queen f2 during the game. Oh, I didn't see and that. now I have, uh, now I want to take the rook. Mm. And for example, if the rook moves to here, then I can go e5. Oh dear. Yeah. Yep. So here, maybe he played rook c5 to play this, but he saw it later on, I don't mm -hmm. know. But here he played a mistake, he played rook e8. You see, still he could have maybe played g5, the move before, before you played f4. Oh, I have to go back. Yeah, he didn't yeah. have time he for didn't have time. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. You mean no. here, maybe? Well, yeah, but, it's not yeah but here it's not possible. It's not I will possible. It's too late for that. That's right, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this is a blunder. I play e5 anyways. Like right. he's doing everything to stop e5 and still it's working. So now I have this double attack. Oh, this is right. I remember this morning yeah. when the Ansha showed the game. Queen f2. So of here, f7, here? Yeah. Here he thought for a long time and probably because it's just winning for white, maybe right. he wanted to resign here, but he decided to play some moves. Bishop okay. g5. Yeah. yeah. It's a tricky move, mm -hmm. <laughs> but here I, I mean, I can just take on f7, king goes here, and rook e4, it's just over. Is this the game? No, this is not the game, not unfortunately. The game. Right, yeah. <laughs> 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 it's over. Yeah, I, I did something that I was very upset about. I mean, still it was winning, but... Were you in time trouble? No, I was... I, I had no, like no, I wonder why you... Yeah. I don't know, I just... I will show you what I missed. Mm -hmm. I played rook e4 here, and I thought, okay, bishop e3 I will just take. I didn't calculate... Rook takes yeah. c3. Oh, the okay, this is a nice trick. That's a nice move, huh, bishop e3? Yeah. Very nice. But here, right. luckily I had this idea to play queen f2. Still, mm. it's m winning for me. But yeah. I don't know if I didn't have this move, it wouldn't be so easy. Right. Yeah. It's a strange tactic for black. We should be yeah. three and then not take c3. So now everything and is I hanging, but I yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So now he has to take the rook. He has to take the rook. Check. I take check, and here I take. And I think rook e7. Here, I mean, still white is winning because I'm taking on right. b7. So he played this move. And mm -hmm. here, I wanted to make the decision to play queen f8, king h7, rook f7, which I played mm -hmm. it. But uh, it took me a bit long to calculate it. Right, right. I just wanted to be sure about yeah, this. Yeah, of course. 
This is move 39 as well, you're just coming up to the first yeah. time for sure. <laughs> so here, rook f7. I think this is just winning. D6, yeah. Yeah, here maybe he has to go queen. Um. So if queen e1 check, you've oh, that's what happened in the game, sorry. Yeah, yeah. queen e1 check. Of course, yeah. Here maybe he has to go queen, uh, queen e8. Mm -hmm. Still it's winning, I have to give a check. King h7 is not possible because, because of, of queen, queen e7. e7. Yeah. King g8, and then I go c4. Probably mm. later I can play queen e7 with the idea to yes. c5, c6. Yeah, it's clearly winning, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But here he took on c3, so with checks I can force him to exchange mm. queens. Very nice. And he and resigned queen here. Check. Yeah, queen is yeah. He, he can't Lethal. prevent that. Very clean win, I would say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. After he played c4. Well, after Black's played, uh, probably that was a mistake, c4. I right? mean, if I had played queen f7, I would have been so happy with mm. my game, but <laughs> mm. <laughs> playing rook e4 was a bit well, upset. I mean, it could go wrong. It, it could have done, yeah. yeah. But, but uh, okay. If I didn't have Not queen f2, it could have gone wrong. I mean, against a strong young 2600 yeah, plus player. Yeah, of course, I was yeah, like, happy yeah. with my game, so. Sarah, tell me a little bit about, um, maybe we have time to look at another game as well, sure, or part yeah. another game. Mm -hmm. A little bit about your, your status, if you like, your celebrity in, in, in Iran. <laughs> and because you're a very famous sportswoman, I suppose, you mean celebrity, no? People um, follow your career, they well, follow your games? Well, people usually, I mean, before they didn't really follow chess, but I can say nowadays they follow chess more than before, so we mm. are kind of, I can say known in Iran. But it's also because of our boys, which are doing fantastic. Fantastic, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, also, we we are not doing a bad job in. So I think you're yeah, organizing yeah. lots of events. Yeah, in that's true. We active, had huh? we had the world championship, and mm. before that, we had the FIDE Grand Prix, which was for the first time. So they are doing what all they can mm -hmm. to promote chess, and it's working. Do people stop you in the streets? Uh, and <laughs> ask for your autograph or <laughs> well, have photographs I mean, with you, things like I'm that. more known with my name, not by my face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> so when usually they hear my name, they would uh, recognize me, right. but with my face, I don't know why <laughs> they don't remember. Yeah. Um, and also, th this event, for example, actually, I asked Shore, our, our operator from Iran, yeah. as well, here for the first time, mm -hmm. and she said that many, or if not all, newspapers in Iran will be covering your results in this event. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, even in the uh, St. Peter's book, for example, as you mm. mentioned before, when I got medals, it was also on some front pages, which was very, um, I mean, important to me because they pay a lot of attention to chess now. Mm -hmm. So being on the newspaper's front page, I mean, as, as a chess of player course. is something I think mm -hmm. Very important. What about in magazines or on TV or radio, this kind of, you know, the media? Yeah, we were also own. invited to some national TV programs, but we also went there. When you say we, you mean the, the team, the national team? or? Uh, with the f Federation's president, also sometimes our boys c get invited, mm -hmm. sometimes I do, so yeah. yeah. I mean, as chess players, I say yeah. we. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know that Ivan Sokolov is now coaching a lot of time in Iran, yeah. isn't he? He's spending a lot of time more with the, more with, with the men. Or also coaching you, or how does that When work? he started working with our team, he started with men, but mm. also for the Women World Championship, he was helping our team as well. Okay. But we also had a coach, Miroshnichenko. Right. Um, mm. I think wherever he is with mm. me in tournaments, I do well. So right. I should thank him from here. Of course. <laughs> yeah. And also Matthew Cornett, I believe, was one of your coaches. or He's uh, my or only coach private, or coach, or yeah. private <laughs> coach. Yeah, He was or he still is? He still is. Right, okay. Yeah, we started working one year ago with, uh, where I didn't have a good results, I told you. I mean, yes. I was doing so bad, but I think he helped me a lot. Maybe when we started, it didn't work that well. It wasn't his fault, you did badly. Uh, no, no, <laughs> I, it's my fault. <laughs> No, I mean, uh, when we started, I was not in a good mood, but I can say uh, my shape was so bad, but now uh, I think he helped me a lot. So I so got back into So Matthew into comes to Iran sometimes? Uh, or you do it online? Is it online? No, we do it online, online, but online. I really hope to have him in Iran as well, because sure. I think he will like it, and working in person is quite different than working, mm. I mean, apart, yeah. So these, these coaching opportunities are obviously funded, by, obviously, I mean, they're funded by the Federation. Mm -mm. How does this No, work? the private coach is not, but right. I mean, I don't mind when I get some prizes in chess tournaments. I mm -hmm. don't mind spending it on chess because 
that's what matters to me. I want to improve. So mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if I don't get the fund as well. I, I'd like to spend it yeah. all I have on chess. Yeah. Tell us also, and then we'll look at another game, please. Sure. Um, <laughs> that I know you were married not too long ago. Yeah. Tell us about <laughs> that. Uh, you know. Yeah, it was two months ago. So uh, we've been together for two years, and uh, he's Your very supportive. In the audience, I yeah, somewhere. he's yeah. here. He's here. Great. <laughs> I think he's on live on Instagram. <laughs> there, <laughs> <laughs> I can see. Lovely. Him. Yeah, so he's very supportive. I can say I'm very lucky to have him because uh, putting all his work aside and coming here mm. with me, and not only in this tournament, in most of the tournaments, it's. And tell us about his work, your husband's career. Uh, he's, he's also he's quite famous. He studied film he? production. Yeah, yeah, he's, um, I think, more famous than I am in yeah. the <laughs> <laughs> So he studied film production. Uh, if you win Gibraltar, you'll be more famous than him. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Um, and he worked in that field. Like he had one TV show which got the award for the best program of the year. Really, he, as yeah. producer? Uh, no, he Derek? was the ho he was the host there. The host. Yeah, oh, like he was okay. having some interviews with mm. the celebrities. So is that how you met? We did he interview you on the show, and that's no, how no. you met. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I was. Uh, I mean, with my previous coach Robin Van Kampen, he mm -hmm. was in Iran, so I was showing him around, and we accidentally met on the street and before that we knew each other from Instagram I mean we were both known so we mm -hmm. knew each other but we never talked so two famous people missing yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then he invited me to uh, one of his friends concert so I went with Robin because I thought it would be interesting for him and yeah. that was where we met for the first time mm -hmm. and Great. it started from yeah. that Lovely. And you had a very nice honeymoon in the Maldives, no? You were yeah, it me? was before mm. the St. Petersburg, so I think it was the best preparation. Yeah. <laughs> and then you got two silvers in the ground, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Fantastic. Okay, well, maybe have a little chat after sure. and uh, maybe take some questions from the audience mm -hmm. or from online. If you're watching online and you'd like to ask Sarah a question, um, Sarah, near the end of the show. Yeah, if sure. you still have the energy for it, <laughs> of you course. can take questions <laughs> from the audience um, watching. But so now I'm I have one more game, game yeah, yeah, please do. of the second round, but it's a very long game, so maybe I, cou I could show some parts of it. Absolutely, as, yeah. as, as you like, yeah. This is against Jules Moussad, one of our French friends. Similar yeah. rating, almost exactly the same rating as mm -hmm. Alexander today, yeah? Uh, I didn't really want to play with him because he's also one of my friends, but it's... Uh, what is it? You play chess, you play your friends, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, I know, but <laughs> I'm a bit emotional, so <laughs> I don't really like to play with my friends, but still... So... Uh, he always wants to play chess, so he doesn't really care about the openings, I guess. So we played this, which transferred to Dutch here. Leningrad Dutch. Yeah. And again, as I said, I don't like to work <laughs> on theories here. I knew some idea from one of our coaches, Aloysa Skevenis, which he oh. passed away oh, a few right. months yeah, ago. So yeah. But yeah. I've used this idea many times in my games with B3. Was he again? Was I have to ask? Was he coming to Iran or was when he yeah, was a coach? Yeah, he was working with the national team. So mm. he was uh, when I got into the national team. I was twelve years old, and we were working with him for three years. Mm -hmm. So it was uh, really heartbreaking for me to hear the news. Oh, I see, yeah, yes. mm -hmm. I was actually playing in Asian Nations Cup then when I heard it. You so heard news, yeah. he was yeah. quite young, wasn't he? Yeah, he yeah. was. B three, yes, okay. So the idea is to play, of course, Bishop. B2, and then uh, knight D2, rook mm. E1 with the idea to, if uh, black plays E5, we play E4. So that's how we react. For example, if knight D7 here, go knight D2, and for example, queen E8, rook E1, mm -hmm. E5, and then maybe directly, maybe taking then E4. So yeah, this is the idea, is, yeah. yeah. But in the game, he won c6. Mm -hmm. I used to play the Leningrad Dutch for black. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, <laughs> lost some bad games. <laughs> 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 it's like the Benoni. It's one of those openings that can yeah. easily go wrong. Mm -hmm. yeah, and you yeah, that's true. So a5 here. Maybe I should have played c4. And in case of a4, I can go b4. But I just didn't want to react to it, so I played rook e1. Maybe it wasn't so good because now a4 gives black a bit of a counterplay. Right. But he didn't play a4. 
I take six. Mm -hmm. So I play the A3 right. to if A4 I can go B4 maybe. Yes. Because here, uh, for example, B5 is not a good move because C6 would be weak. Mm -hmm. So then I can go C4 and I think white is doing okay. And also stop his knight coming to b4. Yeah, that's true. F when mm -hmm. you go e4 yeah. on bishop f5 or something. So he stops e4, knight e4. Yeah, knight e4. But knight e4 is not a very big deal here, I think, because I go c4, queen c2, mm -hmm. and then d5, again, is not a good move. So yeah. he has to probably exchange the knight later on. Here he went to queen b6 <coughs> with the idea to take a pawn. Mm. Now, if I don't defend it, he will take, and okay. if I take with the knight d4, is hanging, if I take with the queen b3, is hanging, so I had to go e3, and that's why queen b6 is not such a good move, because now knight c5, for example, is not possible, because I take and I attack the right. queen, so yes, yeah. here he saw that uh, his queen on b6 wasn't really useful, so he took here and played queen c7. Mm. Here I went b4 anyways, because of the pin nice. here. So I think white is better in this position. Sure. So b5. And here I found I think it was a nice idea I played c5. Mm. So if black takes here, I can give a check and then take on b5. I think I'm doing fine here. Well, you have full development and black space yeah, is a... Uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. So here he took c5. Check was also a good move. After queen f7, I made a mistake. I could have taken an e5, but I didn't see this idea that after c4, I have knight c5 and b7 is hanging. But now still. What do you mean b7 is hanging? Sorry. Like if it takes on, I can take on b7. Right. Yeah. I thought after c4, I will lose a pawn, but mm. I didn't see knight c5 here. Yeah, okay. So I think uh, I could take here, and black black pieces uh, were also having some difficulties to get out. Yep. So here I made a mistake. I took on a here I I mean took on c six took on c six, and after e four, black is back in the game. Hmm. Okay. Yep. So here I would what I wanted to show was this position where we got into endgame. So here he made one, I think it was interesting, he played bishop f8 to try a bit. He didn't exchange. Mm, again, a uh, like the Donchenko game, did, did you feel that your pun, Jules here, was trying to play for win from yeah, an equal position? Yeah, he was trying for win. A little bit too hard, mm -hmm. maybe. Yeah, because here I don't think black has anything to play for, but yeah, he tried to win here. And I will go quickly to sure. the... Yeah. So we exchanged, and here we played this position for a long equal, no? time. So yeah, it like it's, it's very equal. Cool. So I will just go to this position because it kept going. We just played on, mm. and nothing special. Oh, I saw him showing this game in the, in yeah. the bar. I think or some of the, what the mistake was. <laughs> so here, yeah. after h5, probably I here I could get a bit better by playing rook c7. And rook b8, probably. Right. I give a check here. If I move the bishop, then he can take on b5 and yes. I would lose a piece, but I can go rook h7. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And white is a bit better. I mean, he should, he's the one who should try for equality here. Right. What should he play, in fact, here? What should I don't know. I was a bit afraid if he can get something afterwards, for example, to take here later on, and then I don't... This past April. Yeah. But uh, it hmm. was... I mean, I shouldn't have been afraid of that. So I just decided to wait. And here it's completely equal, I can say. So we repeat it again. Mm -hmm. Nobody offered a draw? No. Uh, just by repeating, but not actually offering a draw. No, I mean, I knew he was trying to win because yeah. he is not a person who likes to go for draw. <laughs> so here he made a blunder. He played right. bishop yeah. b3 and I take a pawn like this. Because Both of h4 and a5 yeah. are hanging. 
So we got into one interesting end game, this one. Mm. And here, uh, what I'm not happy with myself is the decision I made. Um, I played king g3, which is very unusual because I should bring the king to this side. Right. Because it's very obvious that if I go king g3, then my king can stalk here, and I don't mm -hmm. really have anything by coming to h4. Should you be playing bishop b2, king f1 and bishop b2 at some point? Yeah, later, but um, I mean, now he can't, but no, I can go... After king f1, I mean, if you played king f1. Yeah, I can go king... Okay, I played some moves. I played king g3, and mm. I got stuck here <laughs> for a bit, but he could wait on this diagonal, and it would be equal, I think. He could really? hold this, yeah. He could still hold this? Yeah, he could hold this uh, because of the mistake I made by playing king g3. Because you can't play bishop b5, you're too slow, yeah. yeah? So I just decided, I realized my mistake. I came back with the king, so I will show you the winning plan. So now I just... The plan is to push h4, of course, and then at some point you come back with the mm -hmm. king and play bishop e2 in the right moment, and then h5. So if it the feels king like it should be winning. You've got an extra outside pass Yeah, this is winning. Pawn. This I mean is now winning, winning. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah he should keep the bishop it. on e2. On e2, right. Yeah, so I couldn't come with my king. Okay. And here... I mean, we just had to play some moves because... I was not sure about my plan, but I found it later on. So. You were torturing him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So here it's not possible to exchange because he's in time to come with the king. Mm. He can yeah. he can just take and and then come here. So I was not in time. Right. So here, if he goes with the king to, for example, f6, I go bishop e2, bishop e8, I go bishop d1, and then I push, right. and I come with my king to take this pawn, so... Right. Yep. So he went king... Oh, sorry. That's a long game. Yeah. No, I just showed this part, mm. because it's very interesting, I think. So here I managed to get this pawn, but the position I want to show you is this one, because right. we got into this position, and now if I don't play the move I played, he wants to take on a4, ah, and then and take with the king on, and then it's just right. equal. For example, if I play any move, it would be just equal. Mm -hmm. So I found this h5 idea. Okay. Takes. It's the only winning move. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Takes and then king b6. So here, he can't stop this because I always have the plan to play bishop b5, bishop c6, and right. he doesn't ha he's not in time to come. Or oh, bishop a6, bishop b7, if yeah. you want to, yeah. Is this a theoretical win? Yeah, Yeah, it is. Hmm. So here, he just... He didn't have time to get his king to d6. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was the point. But also, I think if he comes to d6, it should be winning for me. Like here. If he comes mm -hmm. here, I come here. Uh, for example, if I don't play bishop c6 and yeah. bishop f3, maybe I have this idea to play uh, bishop... F5. I mean, if I'm in time, I can play bishop f5, bishop c8, and then mm -hmm. come from you there. You can play a6 first. Yeah, also a6 to b7. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter if he controls this. Must be a theoretical square. win. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think he sh uh, what he should do is, uh, if he's in time, he can put the king on b4 and then play bishop c8 at some point, and okay. then I can't improve. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. in our game, when he, when. If he comes uh, bishop c8 here, I'm in time to play king c7, okay, but if the king yeah. is on b4, mm -hmm, then, then I don't have yeah. that, yeah. So probably that's the only defense here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so those are two strong grandmasters, I mean 2600 plus yeah. young players. Mm -hmm. um, two pretty convincing wins, no? Especially to the, the, second, the first one we, got, the yeah. we saw, yeah. Um, and today you played last year's winner, Levon Aronian, without showing us, but how does it feel to have drawn with him? And well, when you, had, you had a better position, you said. You had the advantage at some point? No, no, I didn't have advantage, mm. but um, 
I mean, uh, when I saw the pairings, mm. I think I was with you. Yeah, <laughs> so I was very night. happy because mm. uh, I thought whatever happens to the game, I would just enjoy it because we don't really get the chance to play with such kind of players in mm. other tournaments. So I, r I was really happy about my pairing. Yeah. And I thought I would just try my best. And at some point it was... And you had black. Stop yeah, I had black. black. I, I was happy with my position in the middle game, but then I just blundered a pawn. So mm -hmm. I was thinking to myself that I just missed the chance of um, making it draw with Levon Aronian. Right. So I was a bit upset with myself, but then I managed to defend it. Anyway, yeah. fantastic, yeah. Thank you. And your first round game here was an easy win? Uh, no, actually it wasn't so <laughs> easy. I was playing a guy from Madagascar. Oh, yeah. yeah. Shiraz, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, that w that game was also, I think, equal mm -hmm. at some point, but he he made some mistakes, so I managed to win right. in the end. Okay. But it wasn't so easy. Mm -hmm. Tell me about a little bit about your trip here. I know you had an unfortunate one. Uh, something <laughs> bad happened with your trip. You want to tell us quickly about that? What happened on your trip Yeah, sure. Trip here? Something happened that I've never seen before. This that is a, it's really a sad and amazing story. Yeah, my husband's uh, luggage got stolen, stolen. <laughs> at the airport. <laughs> tell us about what happened today. Uh, yeah, first day when we arrived, my baggage came, so I was quite happy. And, and then Malaga. we saw that his Wh didn't come. Which was your route? You went from Tehran to Tehran to Vienna, to Vienna, Vienna to Malaga. Okay, right. And we thought it was some, uh, some like it was delayed. And it's a normal thing when it, you have some connection flight. Sometimes the, the it happens that it comes up. after two, three days. Mm -hmm. So we waited a bit, and nobody was answering from the airport. So they were saying they are searching for it. They mm -hmm. didn't know if it had arrived to Malaga or not. Right. But uh, I mean, it has been five days, so he decided to go to the airport himself. <laughs> and he went to the police, and they checked the cameras, mm -hmm. and some guy stole the Unbelievable. package. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. And they don't know who this guy is or anything, no? Well, you'll His about face it. was clear, mm -hmm. but I don't know. I hope mm -hmm. they find it. Right. Well, I hope you can still well, that's done. What's done is done. Which it's yeah, sure. maybe get some compensation or something. I don't mm -hmm. know what will happen. That's one thing. Okay, very unlucky. Um, then also tell us about backgammon because <laughs> this is also interesting for me because uh, as maybe some people watching know, we do, and certainly Martin, I know you know this. Here in the hotel, we do have a backgammon festival. Mm -hmm. Been going for three or four years now. Following the chess, a few days after the chess, three or four days afterwards, we move into backgammon. Yeah. Um, and I believe your husband, well, you also play backgammon, right? <laughs> no, I don't know how to play backgammon, yeah. but in Iran, I think we have more fans of backgammon than chess. Like, mm. not uh, professionally doing it, but uh, as a hobby, I c you can see it in most of the families that they play since they're young. For example, my husband is playing since he's five, so right. that's what they do when they at family meetings. They mm -hmm. usually play backgammon, so right. when you said that there was a tournament here, mm -hmm. I think he's still thinking about oh it to attend, of, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to attend the tournament. Right. And I think it would be very interesting. How about if you win that you brought a chess festival, <laughs> your husband wins that you brought a backgammon festival? I mean, that might be unbelievable, you <laughs> know? <isn't it? laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, okay, I don't want, I, I mean, I don't want to have high expectations in mm -hmm. this tournament because it will make me have more pressure. So right, I just course, want yeah. to day by day. enjoy it day by day. Mm -hmm. I don't really think about the result. Mm -hmm. yeah. Who in our studio audience has a question for Sarah? Any questions on the games that she's shown or anything else that's come up? Or maybe online, we'll have some questions. And what are your plans after, well, we, wait, we have a question? Not yet? At the back? You'll need to come up here, sir. Thank you. A question from a member of our audience, so we can hear, the people at home can hear. Thank you. How did Sara get um, interested in the game of chess in the first place? That's a very good question. Well, yeah. I was eight years old and um, not, nobody in my family played chess. So one of my classmates was a chess player and she told me about the tournaments and all. So I got interested. I went to a chess academy in Tehran and uh, I can say I started professionally from the start. Like I was not playing at home or anything. I didn't even know the rules. but. Um, I started in an academy. Thank you. And sorry, sorry, I was following on from that question. As you went through school and your chess studies, were you, it was like a chess school, a chess academy. Does that, did that mean that you had, didn't have a normal, normal? No, like I had some classes there. No, it was not a school. It was like but after school, yeah, was it? Yeah, yeah it was after mm -hmm. school. 
actually uh, the guy who uh, run the chess academy he was the first international master in Iran and oh, really? he used to be uh, our coach for a long time I think most of the players a lot to him because um, he helped us a lot he was playing in the interzonals before what was his, what's his name uh, Harandi Oh, I've heard of him. Yeah, Around but uh, yeah. unfortunately, he just passed away oh. a few months ago, like mm -hmm. one month ago. So I should also thank. I mean, I think I owe a lot to him. Right. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, let me ask you: Is is Iran? Um, I know you're going to say yes. Iran is changing in many ways, as far as yeah, we that's know. True. Mm -hmm. um, also for women, particularly. Can you tell us something about that? Yeah, I think so because. Uh, we are having more op opportunities to play everywhere, mm -hmm. to take part in, I mean, in important events. And I think generally everything is changing, so we're hoping for the best. Mm -hmm. We have another question? <coughs> question from the chat is, do you have a favorite chess player of all time? Good question. Of all time? I think Kasparov is, I mean, he has been my legend for a long time, mm -hmm. but uh, from the players, now I can say Magnus. Mm -hmm. I have a question. I did an interview about a year ago with uh, your former countryman, Doris Darakshani. She claimed that uh, she was able to read at the age of one and a half. <laughs> and uh, there's also a cute video of her on national yeah. TV in Iran mm -hmm. singing at the age of like five or six. Yeah. That's um, so <laughs> do you have any hidden talents that we don't know about? <laughs> <laughs> No, actually not, because, uh, I mean, when I was uh, younger, I just uh, tried some things uh, apart from school. It was, I, w I used to play guitar, which I don't remember now really? anymore. Yeah. And I used to play tennis, which, I mean, I can't do it now, but mm. um, I can say when I started chess, I just put everything aside. So it was chess the whole time, yeah. yeah. Nobody in your family plays? Your parents? You, you have brothers and sisters? No, but they all follow my games. Mm. And for example, Ardeshir, he loves Chess 24 because he can see it goes up and down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Evaluation, yeah. 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 He doesn't like to see the moves, but he likes Chess 24 because mm. <laughs> it's mm. easier for him to follow my games. Yeah. Okay, nice. Peter? Another one from the chat. What do you think of uh, Alegeza and Param and their chances to, uh, to become a super GM? Well, I think mm. we have many good players now, Ali Reza, uh, Parham, Mohamed Amin, and Puya. I think they are so young. Mm. And about Ali Reza, I think everybody knows that he's very talented, but Parham is also working a lot, and he improved so fast. I think both of them have the potential to be in the top 10 in future, but mm -hmm. it depends on the support they get. If they are in the right direction, I think they can easily do it. Right. Yeah. Interesting. I have another one. Yep. Uh, so at some of the events that we cover, we ask people like, you know, Hikaru and Maxime and, and Magnus what they would do with the hundred grand that they just won. And of course, they give very boring answers because they don't need the money. But uh, <laughs> if you win the top women's prize, oh, you could win the top prize overall. But let's just stick with the top women's prize. That's 15,000 pounds, yeah. something close to 20,000 US dollars. You're, you're still quite young. Is that like a life changing amount? And what would you do with it? Mm, I think I would just spend it on chess. Actually, in St. Petersburg, I, I got a lot of prize mm. because it was uh, almost 70,000. But still, I would try to use it on chess to improve more. I mean, I, would, I don't think about the money. How much have you spent so far on that 70,000? Uh, I haven't received it yet. My <laughs> 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 honest answer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, hey. Yeah. <laughs> you haven't received it yet. <laughs> Not yet. Three day events. Come on, what is this? Uh, yeah, yeah, because we have some problems because of the sanctions. Our banks are blocked. So oh it right, has to go. Uh, or, yeah. Okay, <laughs> Here. So, <laughs> if you had to spend quite a bit of money on getting training by like a really famous player, who would you like to receive some training from? Um, well, that's a good question. <laughs> because right now I'm very happy with my coach, Matthew uh -huh. Cornett, I think. Just for one night. You don't have to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think 
as far as just, yeah. yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you're obviously very ambitious. You're, you, you've set your sights on just improving and, and you'd love to be women's world champion and, and, and maybe more. I mean, just uh, where does it go from here? What are your plans for the next three, six well, months? I mean, and, uh, and how do you project that forward? I remember even two years ago when I, I got this question in this semester <laughs> class. By me, huh? probably by me. Yeah. Yeah, um, uh, I wanted to be in the top 10, and now I'm very close to it. I mean, yes. I had one year that I played so bad, but I think I made it okay this year, so I'm like 12 now, I think. First, I want to get into top 10, and I don't know, I just want to see what happens next. Mm -hmm. I don't really want, because uh, for me, after the Grand Prix, I had a lot of uh, expectations from myself, and mm. I think that was the reason why I didn't play good in the next events, because... Mm. Uh, after the World Championship, I felt so stressful during mm, the game. You got knocked so out early on, yeah? Yeah, mm, I yeah. don't really want to want to feel that again. So mm -hmm. I just want to see what happens next in my tournaments. Right. Yeah, yeah. Do you have any other hobbies? Well, I mean, you're not studying chess 24 hours a day. You must be doing... Is there anything else you love doing? Or Actually, if I tell you, I'm not working at all. I'm not lying. Yeah. <laughs> But um, nowadays I just play in many tournaments, so I don't really get to do anything much. But mm -hmm. I don't know, I'll see what happens. You've traveled a lot, yeah? You've been to, I don't know, 30 more, more countries now? You I we think so, yeah. Now. If mm -hmm. we get some time, we would like to have some vacations. For example, uh, in summer when I had some free time, we went to Russia for the FIFA World Cup. And then oh we oh had some right, free time, we went to mm -hmm. our honeymoon. So. Mm -hmm. You've been to Venice, you told me. Yeah. yeah. With your husband, yeah, you had a nice yeah. time. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It was great. Yeah. Any any final questions or anything else from the audience or online? Um, no, a little bit quiet tonight, the audience. Mike? Right, as rise by the play, I would guess. Mm. So, um, okay, well, Sarah, anything else you'd like to share with us before? Um, no, we wrap just up? thank you for organizing <laughs> this event. It's one of my favorites, and I think it's very great to be here. What do you like? Th you like it being tough. You like playing. I mean, you like playing the th you know, the chance to play someone like Levon today. It's my fourth time here, and I think everything. Um, also, I mean, not only chess, also the side events that you have. For mm. example, the Battle of the Sexes that, that we that have to tomorrow. Right, yeah. let's, talk, let's finish with that. Yeah. So it's very interesting. I mean, for the audience, for the chess lovers, for mm -hmm. the players, it makes it. Um, I mean, wonderful to be here. So. Yeah. You're going to play in the battle tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll be looking forward to watching that. Yeah, me and too. And um, Sarah, thank you very much. Been very thank nice. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.